Hi everybody, Dick Coughlin here. Last year I made a video about a guy called Adrian G. Uh, or AG to the likes of me. Um, he was a pickup artist from Australia and, uh, and I referred to him in my first video about him as the worst pickup artist in the world. And I'm having delved a bit more deeply into the world of pickup artistry, I feel that maybe that was a bit unfair because I think to declare any of these guys the worst is is impossible. They're, they're, they're all equally as awful. And today I'm going to be watching a video that was uploaded by a, a, cha a, a YouTube channel called Channel 5 about a guy called Vince Kelvin. Who, and, uh, and, and I feel it's appropriate because... Uh, this guy, uh, this guy's nickname is uh, Vince the Cock Kelvin. And I feel it is my duty to step in and, um, and, uh, and defend the honour of, of people who, of men who uh, choose to have a, um, a nickname of that nature. Uh, it's not a massive community, as far as I'm aware. Only myself and Vince are in it. But nevertheless, uh, the right thing must be done. Now, for a start, I mean, look at this cunt. I mean, look, I, I don't want to put people in boxes and say, but, I mean, come on, grow old a little bit gracefully, would you? Look at this fucking guy. He makes Darby Vanity look uh, understated. Although to, you know, and probably a bit less creepy overall. Look at us, look at him. And this is just the front. I mean, the, the fucking, he's like a cartoon of a fucking, of some emo kid. Except, except he looks about fucking 60. You know, he's like the, he's like the guy who played Kaniki in Greece, you know. But this is just, but this is just the, the beginning. Um, but this is, this is Vince Kelvin. The girl will probably be in front of you at a time when you don't expect it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Look at the side pro Look at that fucking thing. The elephant man didn't have a fucking side profile. That fucking big. Look at... I mean, he must spend... I mean, God, you know... This guy must spend fucking several... The best part of the day buggering around with his fucking hair. Imagine, imagine looking at that, this fucking geezer and think, yeah, this is the geezer who, need, who needs to teach me. Who needs to teach me how to fucking pull people. Cock blocker we gotta watch out for is ourselves. Ultimately, we think it's the girls, we think it's the time, we think it's us, we think, think it's that, it's one thing. I didn't, I didn't understand any, I was too bit, I'm mesmerised by the, who are these fucking, look at the state of these geezers who are fucking... Who, who, who are there watching him? Watch it it's what we think. A, a whopping crowd of four people. Three, to be fair, one of them is the journalist for Channel 5, but, you know. Every hot girl that you see at some point was a little baby wearing diapers and at some point will be an elder woman. Well, that's not at all fucking weird, is it? I'm... Yes, I mean, what did you even bring that up for? Yes, at one time... So a human being is born. They they grow over the course of time, and then they get old and die. Fucking. This is this is the stuff I. This is the fucking information I've been needing. Our assignment is to shift our mindset. When? Right, right here, right now. You're watching Channel Five. Channel Five. Channel Five. After an intense few weeks on the road, covering a. Covering events like the White Lives Matter rally in Huntington Beach. Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the Quins. Hey, shut the fuck up, bitch. And a punk rock concert on the mean streets of Los Angeles. Ah! I needed a pick-me-up, so to speak. That's when I discovered Vince, a.k.a. the Cock Kelvin, a pickup artist who holds the Guinness Book record for most makeouts in a human lifetime. Over 5,000 makeouts. Okay, I, I'm calling bullshit on that because I don't believe the Guinness Book of World Records would recognise... So, for several reasons. One, every Guinness Book of World Records record requires verification. So someone would have to be there. Right. So I don't buy that for a start. 
And I don't think they would want to encourage people to fucking set records for that. So I think that's him making a claim that no one else fucking wants to make. Vince Calvin, the king of makeouts, hands down, over 230 makeouts last year. This guy's insane, a ridiculous game. The best I've ever seen. Right, well, there you go. I mean, fucking, you know, the Shermanator fucking thinks so. Vince is also a salesman. He sells DVD. No, you're kidding. I thought he would have done this out of the kindness of his heart. Well, bugger me. He's online, such as pull like a pro, massive sexual momentum, thunder texting, make out mastery, and his complete collection, which cost $897. Fucking suck back, bruv. Anyone with that, I mean, God, I don't have that much money to, if you can afford to waste that much money on disposable income, Jesus Christ, you could get a fucking, you could get a couple of, you could have a couple of decent nights with a good, a good upper price, you know, you know, a good high price hooker for that. And you'd probably have more fun and learn a lot more in the fucking process. $897. I learned that for only $129, I could join Vince's Brotherhood. What is it with these guys and brotherhoods? Adrian G had the same thing. You will be part of my brotherhood. It's like you're joining some weird... F it's, it's a cult thing. Join the brotherhood. I don't want to be part of this brotherhood. Jesus, I don't want to... I just don't want to be part... I don't want to hang around with a bunch of dudes who are... Who, you know, who have to pay this fucking... This demented cockerel looking fucking prick to fucking teach me how to trick drunk women into going to bed with me. And soon I was invited to a private boot camp at an undisclosed location. I was told nothing else but to meet my contact. Fucking imagine getting that fucking email. The cock. In the lobby of the Mirage. Oh yeah, it's always, it's always reassuring when you're going to meet in the lobby. Of a fucking... Cause we're not going to meet anywhere specific. No, we're meeting in the lobby of a hotel. <laughs> Mirage Casino in Las Vegas. So this right here is where our journey begins. We're in the uh, lobby of the Mirage. What's going on? Hanging out, enjoying paradise. Where are we? The lobby of the Mirage. And what's important about the lobby of the Mirage? It's very Mirage-like. Well, well, this geezer's a walking ball of fucking charisma, isn't he? I can see why... I cannot imagine... I can't imagine why this guy would have any trouble fucking communicating with fucking other human beings. But where are we going? And what is he wear What is it with these guys? What are you wearing? I'm not exactly a fashion plate, but Jesus Christ. I don't really know. That's the, the whole adventure of this whole thing, right? You've been assigned to take us somewhere from here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. He doesn't even know what he's doing to uh, the suite that we have. And what kind of stuff is going on up in the suite? Can't really tell you. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see. I don't know, I don't want to color it for you. I want you to experience it on your own, so. How you doing? My name's Andrew, good so to meet you. Andrew. This is a basic structure for interaction. Oh look, three, pyra three upside down pyramids. There's a fucking, uh, there's an ominous bit of fucking Freudian uh, message messaging right there, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is the, this is what we, yeah, fucking right, this is it, innit? This is, this is the Dennis system. No, first, we gotta make comments. We don't do pick-up lines. It, well, you do, you just call them comments, right? Any, any, a pick-up line is simply a line to, you know, to engage in, in you know, to, you know, to, that's it, you know, demonstrate, demonstrate value. They're retarded. They're retarded. Fantastic. Wow. Your hair. Wow. 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 Your hair. Wow. wow. Your hair. Right. Say it with me. Th that's it. Is it? Wow. Your hair. Wow. You could say your hair. You go, wow. Interesting outfit. I did. Wow. Interesting outfit. Wow. Great ankles. Nice tits, love. This is just... I could go to a building site and get more fucking insight into fucking how to pick up women than this. Really, we say cool, interesting. Who knows? Maybe... Cool, interesting. Yeah, fucking... Yeah, this guy knows cool, doesn't he? 
we'll run into each other again. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other again. Who knows? I'm so I'm lost. I'm completely lost. What is it with these? Look at the. <coughs> <coughs> what is it with the way you look at a woman and go I wonder what her insecurity It looks like a fucking convention of colorblind pedophiles. These are they are pickup artists and these are their stories. How's it going guys? My name is Stanley. This guy is not in the least bit fucking mentally. I I you know it's it's hard to insult. I, there are certain words I don't want to use anymore that I would have used a long time ago because I know that, you know, that, that, you know, they're a bit more, they're more offensive and I don't want to go down that road. But some of these guys, it's very difficult to describe them or react to them without using problematic, offensive slurs. So I'm just going to... Stanley. Of course it's Stanley with an I. Oh my God, fucking hell. Of course he's got his shirt undone with his glasses. Oh, God almighty. And I'm a singer. Oh, right. Here we go. Are you ready for his... Are you ready for Stanley the singer? <laughs> he sounds like a fucking moped trying to start on a cold morning. What... Ow. What song do you call that, eh? What's that called? Is that called the Air Raid Siren? A rape alarm in Moscow? What's that called? And just looking for that pure self-expression so I don't hold back and... I think you could do with a tad more restraint, mate, to be fair. This is the smartest motherfucker, this guy on the left who got his face blurred out. Really acknowledge who I am at the core. My name's Akash Inti. Name, Akash Inti. I also go by Air, my initials. Of course you do. Because you, it is impossible for you fuckers to do, to do anything without being pretentious and up your own ass. You've got to have a fucking pseudonym or a nickname or you've got to spell... Even if you had a simplest fucking name, you'd have to spell it. If you were called Bob, you'd have five Bs on the end of it. I am born May 28th. So I'm wow, May 28th. That's fucking fascinating. Gemini. Air. And was like Air. Yeah, that's that's all he is. Air. Fuck all. Nothing. A total number of makeouts. Like ever or yeah, over the past like 24 hours? Ah, uh, I mean I haven't count counted. Oh my god, he's got a fucking lipstick mark tattooed on his chest. Cuz of course you have cuz that's the probably the first and only time he's fucking got and it probably was his nan. Damn right. Uh but I like I said like yesterday like probably in the hundreds for sure. So what brought you out? Probably in the hundreds. You know what? There's, there's something about I'm, I'm reminded of a conversation I had with a geezer. These geezers I'm these men who sit there, who, 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 you know, who, for them, any interaction with a woman is nothing more, <coughs> is nothing more than just them, you know, adding a number to it, you know. To them, women are just statistics, right? And I'm reminded of, a, of one of my all-time favourite public humiliations and emasculations of another geezer, of this guy... I didn't know him, he was a friend of a friend at a party, and he he was banging on, and all he did, one of these guys who just talks constantly about how much he's done with women and all this other stuff, and I remember him saying, like, you know, him bragging about, oh, last year I had 200 one-night stands with women, and my reaction was just, wow, you had, you had sex with 200 women and not one of them wanted to bother a second time? Just... And he just shut up for the rest of the fucking night. You want to impress me? I have sex with one woman 200 fucking times. That's when things get interesting. I hear. Vegas, I mean, come on. What, what, what else, you know? Catching up with uh, some of the guys, though. Number of makeouts I've had is, uh... Who are, who, how old are you that you fucking remember makeouts? You know... It's like, you know, you get to a certain age, it's like, you know, even if you're talking about stuff like this, you don't <coughs> make it out. Oh, yeah, did you snog it? Yeah, tongues and everything, you know? It's like you never hear any lad, you never hear any lad over the age of 15 talk about, brag about fingering a girl, because it's not fucking, it's not impressive after a certain age. Uh, one, 
two, three. Oh my god, he's counting on his fucking fingers. It's a big amount. <laughs> it's a big amount. It's a big, it's like that many, right? It's like that, you know. It's 14 cubic hectares of making out. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I can count them on my hands. I'm not sure if I can count them on my hands. Yeah, unless you're from Missouri. It would be over 30. It would be over 30. Wow. We are not worthy. I mean, what do you want? It would be over 30. Who counts to 30 and then just gives up? Not these fuckers. It's, what he means by that is it's 31. Around 30. Not more than 40, I don't think. Not more than 40. So you, you, you gave up. So I'm sorry. Bullshit. You cannot be that certain about the about the bracket, the the number, the, about whereabouts it is, you know, on the scale, on the number scale, with, and not know for a fact which one it is, right? No. This is like David Brent when he says, you know, he's, he's he's talking about how he's in his 30s and he's 39. You know, it's just the it fucking losers, losers. All of these cunts. Yeah, Vince is the master. <laughs> what can you tell us about Vince? Yeah, he he, he's the master, all right, yeah. It's a way to start, right? Uh, there's, there's so many things. Uh, everything from the look, the fashion, and everything like that. I mean, look at this cunt. Look at him. If I was in fucking charge of the cunt, I would have him electronically tagged on site. Every sing there isn't a single fucking... You there isn't a pixel on that picture. <coughs> That doesn't. He just looks like a complete and utter. Pr you know, I would guess he was a fucking. He, he was. He's going to a fancy dress party, right? Just. I'm getting the word nonce. Um, but also, like, truly a mar marvelous, like, communicator. Not only with women on the streets, um, but just overall, right? <laughs> oh my god, fucking hell! Yeah. yeah. I went through a haunting once, and he was like one of the a few guys that picked up the phone like at 12 a.m. Went through a what? Haunting. What happened? Ooh, uh, there was like weird spirit that latched onto my little sister, but it got pretty intense, you know, shit moving around. I'm like, who the hell do I call? I, I'm sorry, your fucking, your, your little sister was possessed by a demon and you phoned that guy. Was Joseph Fritzl not available? Had Jimmy Savile already died? What the fuck are you? Each and every one of the students were here for like, different reasons throughout the years some people say this guy is crazy oh. yeah i believe that oh he's got balls i have lovely testicles but you know no one has lovely testicles mate they're one of the they're one of the most universally fucking ridiculous and unattractive parts of the human anatomy bar none across any species actually i don't even know if they're that big i don't think so i don't think my balls are very at your age mate they are sagging down to your fucking you know i imagine that, you know how you get those skinny jeans on at your age they must be fucking drastically hanging low at this fucking stage big they probably look like a pair of those bollocks you put on the back of your van it's an illusion so our first mission is to bring more ease to be open to be a person that it's easy to be around you to be a person, to, to be around you, right, well... It's like your shirt. I mean, you can see his, I mean, it's very, it, it's amazing. He's, he's like, you can just see his dad bod through his clothes that are not even skinny. You know, it's like, you know, this is like the fucking, I mean, God, Queer Eye could fucking take this geezer and fucking get a couple of seasons out of him. Look at that. I mean, just he looks like you've covered him in glue and pushed him into a fucking charity shop. And her shirt created hers. Yes, oh, That's surreal. Yeah. Whoa, you couldn't have it better planned. But it takes a special man to pay attention to those kinds of things. See, I'm a little more... Dis see, those women were just like, oh, this. they just see a camera and they think, well, this guy's obviously, you know... This is obviously some performance, street performer, because no human being would fucking make themselves look like this, you know, and then go out in public. Decisive than most people. I can have a little more fun than most people, but you don't want to be the nice guy with whom they had a nice conversation. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm, this is fucking, this is a universal fucking, you know, part of pickup artistry is this whole, you know, you can't be the nice guy. You, you know what, you can, right? Let's fucking, I fucking hate this. 
this mentality of like, and it's even worse when it's these fuckers who go, like, you know, oh, the reason I, you know, the reason I don't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, nice guys finish last. Nice guys finish last is a mantra that is, you know, that is absorbed and that is, you know, that is, is part of the, the doctrine that you fucking pick up if you are a loser who has got nothing else to fucking cling to. You want to go, well, the only reason I haven't succeeded is because I'm a nice guy. It's possible, right? It is possible to be a nice person, to be a good person. Not perfect, but a good person and still succeed in life, right? And even if you, and, and let's say it wasn't, let's say you had to be a, a monumental, monumental shitbag in order to be a success Right? Why would you? Why would you want to be that? You know? Why would you want to be a piece of shit? Would, is it worth it? I don't think so. Well, I'm just about to catch up. We were just going across the street. I'm tempted to say we stay in touch. Who's the secretary out of the three of you? Bear it in mind, girls, that you know your ladies and the you know the correct answer you know for any woman who's you know who's got a job is secretary or nurse. But there's a look right there. That is the fucking you know, there's the, there's the awkward side eye. We're all married. Uh, We're all married. Right? And you give up? You give up? You don't give up just because they're married? That's just more of a challenge. You fucking big girl's blouse. Has James Bond taught us nothing? Well, I hope you guys have, a, 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 like, a very strong marriage, or is it like, mm? A very strong, oh, for fuck's sake, no, dude, you can't fucking, you can't sit there and start saying goodbye and then get in whether it's a strong marriage, right? You've already, fa the fact is, you, you ask them who's the secretary, you ask them which one's the secretary, and they said, we're all married, right? That is, that is, you know, polite, that is the politest way they can tell you to fucking go piss up a rope. Well, here I am just... Strong marriage. Strongest marriage ever. Literally, I, you know, the, the strong... It could not be stronger, right? It could not be stronger. There is nothing... I would have to be, you know... There is no amount of ch dead children under our cellar he could have that would ma give you a fucking option, mate. Exercising my ability to communicate with everyone, right? This is what... We you, you're exercising your ability to communicate. Well, congratulations. Could you exercise it somewhere else? We do in the world. <laughs> Right, well, he's got about as much chance of getting laid as a fucking, you know, well, as anything, well, nothing. I mean, there's nothing. I can't think of anything. I can't even think of a fucking metaphor. I can't think of, I can't even create in my amount. I can't even imagine someone with less chance of getting, uh, you know, of getting some poon than that guy right there. That is the fucking new absolute zero. Hey, whose party is it? What do you mean? What you mean? It's your party. Where's the party? Yeah. Right there. It's you just, just fucking follow them around, mate. It's a hen party. They don't want fucking geezers. A hen party is the worst fucking, you know, is the worst but group of people you can go up to. Because it's a, it's a fucking, it's a bachelorette party. You're not meant to be there unless you're the dancing bear. You're not meant to be there. If you don't get much of a response right away, don't go into a question. Make a comment about your take on it. Yes, <laughs> just per if they ignore you, if they fucking just pretend, if they pretend you don't exist, or just you know, just completely you know, deny your fucking deny that you're even there. Just keep going at it. Eventually, they'll cave in. I like to party. <laughs> I like to party. Well, well, that's fucking unusual. You know, what a fucking unusual human being you are. What a special little fucking, what a special little butterfly you are, mate. You like to party, aren't you? Good job he's got his glasses on because there's fucking pepper spray coming. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, I, I just, wow, wow, man, that was just fucking embarrassing. Right, that was just, God almighty. You did, I mean, brilliant, mate. On you know, I you know, that could not have gone worse on every level. <laughs> I struggled with like pornography addiction and stuff like that, like fear of rejection and stuff like that. Like if I, I don't know why you fear rejection, mate. You should be fucking used to it by now. Went up to a girl and she said no or like didn't. Uh... No is the nicest thing they could say to you, mate. Women probably say no on in fuck just instinctively. I took it really hard on myself, 
and it kind of made me not want to go out there and put myself out there, so I kind of made myself even more closed off. Have you good, good. Keep that, keep doing that. Carry that You on. ever been in a relationship before? Yeah. Kind of in one right now. Kind of in one right now. Okay. I bet this guy, I bet this guy had an inflatable sex doll and she, he came home one day and she was fucking shagging her inflatable boyfriend behind his back. He's the kind, he looks like the kind of geezer who comes second in the audition to play the, the husband who gets cucked in a porno. Yeah. With who? The, uh... Oh God, that's a fucking, that, that, that's, that doesn't look at all dodgy when you go, you know, who are you in a relationship with? Um, mm, mm, you know. It's my neighbor. <laughs> it's your neighbor. Is this the, oh God, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Kind of it's my neighbour. That's not fucking helpful. Who's your neighbour? Who are they? You probably live next door to a fucking crematorium. Dating. For sure. Is it exclusive? It's uh, pretty exclusive. Okay, that, that's not an answer. Okay, exclusive is a binary fucking position. You're either exclusive or you're not. You can't be kind of exclusive. Kind of exclusive is not exclusive. Yeah, it's going good. You... I, I, I can see. I mean, I don't know how you're not, I, you know, I, see, I sense wedding bells in the air, you know. You get involved in the pickup artist community. Uh... First of all, you have to fucking, first of all, you have to look like a complete cunt. It's the, it's the first thing. Right? I read the game, right? I was, uh, I remember. Oh my God. Even the geezer who fucking wrote that book has denounced it as a fucking, as a pile of shit. You know, that should be the first. That's like Jesus coming out and saying, yeah, the Bible's a pile of horse shit. You... I remember seeing, uh, actually, the pickup artist on VH1 when I was in, like, 7th or 8th grade. I just... What a fucking miserable sack of shit this kid must have been. What, in the 7th or 8th grade? thought, like, being, like, a 7th or 8th grade boy, right? Like, who's like, oh, wow, look at these guys. They're, like, figuring this out. And being the nerd that I am, right, I'm, like, just... Super... You're a nerd, you're joking for intellectual and all that stuff too it's like i wanted to like see like what's this stuff about you know so you're being this you know that people are able to pick up on that i mean that's that's how we met uh earlier uh, she she came by that's how we met it was just through this whole thing right so wonderful if i've learned yeah, i mean he's definitely not paying her by the hour anything from this whole art in and of itself it's just it's not art it's not art right that is the that is the first fucking it's not the most relevant but it's one of the fucking first things you look you piss me off about these fuckers is they call themselves artists you're fucking not you're not artists understanding There's a no person artists. right seeing like this this is just fucking this is self-delusion and deception right it's borderline fucking criminal so much more than meets the eye. Like, yeah, the eye catches things, but how much does it really catch to some degree, you know? Check this out. When I was young, I was actually, like, a super... I was a little kid who would, like, go out in, like, the grocery store, and I would just say hi to everyone, you know? I... What? You, you, were, you, you were polite to people? Yeah, you walk down the street, you're like, hi, hello. What? What's... What? How, on what fucking... What level, on what planet do you live where that makes you... In any way fucking interesting. I was, like, I was like, oh, hi, my name is Akash. And, like, something happened in, like, maybe, like, early kindergarten where it was just, like, an event, an incident, of, like, a private family incident happened where it was just, like, don't do that. He was raped by his uncle, definitely. And he enjoyed it. A bit too much, right? And he's been living in denial ever since. Anymore, right? So, like, part of this whole thing has really just been kind of reconnecting with that part of me, right? Because that, that's who I was as a little kid. So did he pick you up last night? There's just too much fucking, there's, there's, there's just too much in this fucking, in this game with these fuckers of talking about chill, of infantilizing everyone. They infantilize the women, they infantilize themselves, and it's just, it's just all a bit, a bit too much across the board. So did he pick you up last night? Yeah. So check this out. Oh my god, she, she doesn't even know what to say. You haven't prepped her, have you? Right? You didn't give her a script beforehand. Did he pick you up last night? She's really, really cool, right? She, she just came across from the East Coast, right? That's what a lot of this is, right? Is exploring the unknown. Wait, so she visited, she come with you for this? Wait, you brought, you brought your fucking, you brought a woman you're seeing with you to a pickup artist. I 
I mean, that woman... Ne- I mean, you know, these guys are fucking terrible, but that woman needs some fucking self-assertion therapy. Sort yourself out, love. And then really seeing what's there, right? And what can you find? I mean, there's some scary moments to it. I mean, I know oh, for myself. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm sure for you last night, right? Like with the... Uh, I don't know, with some of the guys out there. Look at the fucking... What is that fucking haircut? What is that? He doesn't know what that... I don't, it looks like he had about fucking two different ideas. All of them were shit. Fucking pudding basin. Oh, they're vaping everywhere. God almighty. It's just... Look at these guys. Dude bro fucking Bitcoin Von Date Rape here. The fucking crypto brothers here. Oh, hello, hello, how you doing, huh? Well, why are you standing around with a clown when you're supposed to be fucking around with the twin now, huh? Hello. I would rather fucking shove a barbed wire, a piece of barbed wire wrapped around a fucking rotten horse's cock up my ass than fucking stand on the same side of the street as you, mate. Twin and did it again. Six black bitches in the pants. She bunked, though. It was a bitch ugly as fuck. Hey, are you guys single? Hey, don't check me, check your bitch. The ta- I don't even understand, I mean, I can't even understand what they're saying. They don't even speak, you know, they make the ATL twins look fucking, you know, look, look de- debonair and sophisticated. Tendency is to assume that if it's not happening, it's my fault. Those su- well, who else is, is it? Who el- what do you mean, who else's fault is it? I mean... You try and chat so you know, if you try it on with someone and they're not interested, you know, I mean, you could say it's nobody's, you could say it's nobody's fault, but clearly, you know, that you, you didn't help, did you? You could have done nothing. Eyes matter at the level of what? Balls, penis. Ha- okay, I'm sorry, the penis. Balls, penis. He can't even pronounce the word P. Your middle name is the cock. Height, arms, bank account. If you think it matters, it does. I've been the guy who's like, I'm just going out, no friends, anything like that. Yeah, I don't think that was a fucking... I don't think you did that through choice, did you, bruv? No, no alcohol, no drugs, no nothing. And just making sure that I figure it out. And that's tough. That's raw. That's as raw as it gets. Not really. One of the byproducts of studying this is, I mean, you do, you do get laid. America is one of the byproducts. Isn't that the, so- I mean, I'm sorry, it's not a byproduct. Isn't that literally like the point? You know, isn't that like the fucking end game of this is to get laid? That's like saying one of the byproducts of masturbate- masturbating is ejaculation. No, it's kind of the point. It's back open, baby. It's make out time. Fucking, it's hardly seven brides for seven brothers, is it? <laughs> is this all this guy's... What? I'm sorry. Is this all this geezer dot? Does he not know the words to anything? You know, does he not know the words to it? It sounds like we... You know, you know when you've got builders next door and they're drilling on the same wall? <laughs> could curdle milk while it's still in the can. <laughs> if there are every woman's uterus within a hundred yard radius has prolapsed right now. Hey, guys, quick question. Make out. Too early or are we good? That, that's, that's not, that's a question? Wait, what? So, no, no, you, the shy one, run with me. Ah. So what you do is you just grab women and fucking that's it, you know. Any woman and just fuck it, you know, if you do that enough, yeah, you will fuck it, odds are. Here, sir, to be a pick apart. None of them are doing particularly well, I notice. You know, you notice this, even him, right? None of these get, none of, not, not, none of these fuckers, not one of them has even come to, not even got a sniff. This means you gotta pick yourself up and pick up people. It's an elevation. You're so portable. I want, you're yeah, so you portable. look very portable. Yeah, I could fit you in a suitcase, love, and dump you in the river, and it'd be quite easy. No one would suspect a thing. Oh, oh, God. This is so portable. That sexual assault, bro. You do that with a black woman, you're going down. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, technically, any woman, but you know, he know. Yeah. I'm Stan. Stan the man. 
Oh, of course. Oh, God. Stan, Stan the man. Wow. You up all night thinking of that one, weren't you? Yeah. Hi, Stan the man. Can I recite your poem? Sure. Oh, fucking hell. Please do. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some William Blake shit here. Yeah. All right. Is this is this poem going to be... <laughs> Beneath the shadows. Oh, he's making this up on the spot. In your eyes lies a being who eats me mint meat pies that you can't even think of a word that rhymes with uh, you know you, you can't this is not difficult jesus fucking wept hold on one sec <laughs> yeah i'm growing every single this is like a porno version of rain man hey you know i don't know what tomorrow holds and to me, it's just all about willingness, you know? It's like, that's what it's all about, you know? So what's up? What, what you... Tell what tomorrow holds, fucking you waking up alone. What you guys here for? What are you celebrating? Celebrating life. I mean, what else is there to celebrate, you know? I mean, a, a loads of other things. I wouldn't celebrate your life, mate. You have to have a reason for everything. Do you have oh. to have a reason? She's just asking you a question, you defensive prick. She's just asking what are you here celebrating. You don't have to get all shitty about it. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm single. That lets you know that. So what's, what, your, what's your next move? What's my next move? My next move is the moment. The next moment, the here, the now. Oh my god, you fucking oh god, what a look at her face. Look at that face. That woman's face there. That says it all just like, oh for God's sake. Talk like nobody talks like this. Talk like a human being. Conversa conversation. Okay, that's weak. That's what thank you! Thank you, darling! But that's some, see, that'll teach you. You should learn from this woman. Fucking bin this motherfucker. Bin that fucking emo cockerel looking twat that you, you'll be following around. Get that woman. She'll teach you a few things by dis, you, you'll learn through fucking disappointment. I got a next moment. Okay. Move right here. Oh, wait, 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 no. Uh, oh my God. Oh, oh, fuck it. Oh no. That was fucking, pa what did you do that for? Why did you think that was a fucking good, Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. Talk about reading the signs. Oh. Hey, we're a dream. How many, I mean, how many women has he done that to? Who went along with it? Oh, fucking hell. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Tweedle. Tweedle, dumb and tweedle, you know, old put, you know, fucking pudding basin here. You say I'm him, not them. That dream come Hello. True. Players do what they want, suckers do what they can. Okay. Are oh, those guys awesome? awesome. Give it up. Are oh, they awesome? No. I mean, I, I mean, I could sit here and list a few words, but this video's already too long. Woman ever wanted, and they're everything the world needs. This is a dem. Okay. Th that is objectively, demonstrably fucking false, on every level. Those two statements. Fucking look at these, look at these cunts' jewelry. It's fucking like, it's ridiculous. You know, demonstration of intelligence, wisdom, sophistication. Intelligence, wisdom, and sophistication. These two. These two would not be allowed on the Jerry Springer show for fear that it would lower the tone. If these two were any dumber, they would need watering three times a day. They've actually reversed man's development. So how many bitches you kissed? How many bitches you kissed? 5,000. 5,000, right? Brilliant. Where are they now? All in therapy. They're curled up in a ball in a padded cell, writing fucking random messages from satan on the wall in their own shit shit we don't kiss every bit we not we don't kiss every i'm sure they're well pleased about that on their faces and break their purses i understand like does this guy this guy talks in like you know does he ever talk in a full sentence you know some chicks they're just like they don't like it in the pussy that i can i mean imagine i mean look at these fucking gun look at them yeah this video should just be called Cunts. That's the title. This shouldn't be called 
It shouldn't be called what it should just be. It shouldn't be called pick up artist boot camp. It should be called cunts in small lowercase lettering. In the ass is their thing, you know, what can I say? But what are you talking about? Hey, it's twins for the motherfucking win. And if ever a girl... Well, I mean, that rhymes. You see, that guy can fucking... You should teach the, You should teach Stanley a few thing or two. Right? There's a fucking rhyme for you. It's twins for the motherfucking win. And if we've learnt nothing else from this... Girls like, uh, is that your best pickup line? You go, is that your best answer to what you think is the best pickup line? Oh, God, that's a fucking shot to fucking... I'm sorry, what? Is that your best pickup line? Is that your best art? I'm sorry, you're not in the... You're not in the fucking... You are not negotiating from a fucking, from, from, a, you're not in that, that advantage position here, right? You're trying to pull her. You're not trying to try and trick her. So what you, you know, yes would be the answer. You watch your channel five. Oh God, Joe, Joe you know what? Fucking hell, every, every fucking time. I don't know what's worse, them or the fa or the men who think these are these the the, the men, the the, the pickup artist men or the men who pay them to think because they think that they're men. My name's Dick Coughlin. Thank you for watching. Um, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, support me on Patreon. Good night. May God be less. And where there's no sense, there's no feeling.